While the world races for air supremacy between America's F-35, Russia's Su-57, and China's J-20, one unexpected nation has entered the arena, Turkey, a country once buying jets, now building one. This is the story of Khan, the stealth fighter that could change the balance of global air power. Dark notice. The unseen exposed. While the world's attention remains locked on America's F-35, Russia's Su-57, and China's J-20, an unexpected new name has entered the race for fifth-generation air dominance, Turkey. Once known only as a buyer of American F-16s, Turkey has stunned the defense world by creating its own stealth fighter, the Khan. Born from determination and defiance, Khan is more than a jet. It's a declaration of independence. After being expelled from the F-35 program in 2019 for purchasing Russia's S-400 air defense system, Turkey realized it could no longer depend on Western suppliers. Instead of backing down, it turned inward, launching the TFX program, a dream that has now taken flight as the Khan, developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries with support from Aselsan and Havelsan. The message is clear. Turkey will no longer be a follower in military technology. It will compete on its own terms. From the outside, Khan looks every bit like a fifth-generation predator. Sleek radar-evading curves, hidden air intakes, and internal weapon bays that keep it invisible to the enemy. Its advanced composite frame is both light and incredibly strong while its modular design allows it to transform from an air superiority fighter to an electronic warfare platform with ease. At its core lies the Murad 100 AESA radar built in Turkey, able to track and engage multiple air and ground targets simultaneously. With sensor fusion technology, the pilot sees a 360-degree digital map of the battlefield, almost like a sixth sense inside the cockpit. But Khan's real genius lies in its networked warfare system. It can command autonomous drones like Kizilelma and Anka-3, making it not just a jet, but a flying command center, coordinating real-time air operations across entire battle zones. Powered initially by General Electric F-110 engines, Turkey is developing a homegrown turbofan engine with BAE Systems and Ukrainian partners one that will allow Khan to supercruise beyond Mach 1.8 without afterburners. Khan isn't just a military project, it's a national ambition. With a cost exceeding $1.3 billion, it represents one of the largest technological leaps in Turkish history. The jet can fly above 55,000 feet, cover 1,100 kilometers per mission, and carry up to 10 tons of advanced weapons, giving Turkey reach across the Aegean, the Mediterranean, and Central Asia. By the 2030s, Khan will replace Turkey's aging F-16 fleet, but Ankara has much bigger plans. It aims to export the jet to nations that have been locked out of the F-35 program, countries like Pakistan, Azerbaijan, and Qatar. For these nations, Khan could become a gateway to fifth-generation air power without political strings or superpower dependence. Khan is more than a fighter jet. It's a message that air dominance is no longer reserved for the few. It's the rise of a new player in global skies. This is Dark Notice, where the unseen stories of power, politics, and technology take flight.